this is for the competition for this ecstasy alien and uh, just a little bit of background here I drew it in Procreate I've been drawing the alien character for quite a long time now I just uh, kind of decided at one point rather than drawing lots of different things I better stick to one design that is kind of recognizable I like to think that I do the alien in an original way but all my artist friends always uh, <laughs> you know dig at me for just doing the same thing over and over so so yeah what I, what I really like is um, I really like the way the Tezos logo uh, and a lot of logos for that matter actually, uh, a lot of symbols and logos uh, do end up looking a bit like crop circles to me, especially when they're combined with the alien uh, in the same sphere. So this uh, this alien piece is a little bit of a play on the way that Tezos uh, sounds, XTZ, and floating on ecstasy, XTZ, is what she is. And she's a highly modified uh, Franken alien, she's uh, modified her body to the point where she's got a mouth in her torso region, and she's got a highly modified enhanced kind of head section and what's funny about these uh, creatures is the fact that they don't really have any major internal organs or arteries or veins they're more like think of a solid state hard drive rather than a spinning mechanism it's all one complete chunk of cells which are interlinked and quite frankly they can modify their bodies far beyond the reach of what humans could do so they take them body modifications very seriously it's gone way beyond tattoos over there on whatever planet ecstasy I guess this one is coming from. So uh, yeah, I made this uh, Procreate, um, added the effects in Premiere, and it's got a little sound effect. Once again, I want to say a really big thank you to everyone who took part in the competition. The rules, uh, yeah, I've got to be quite strict in them because obviously what's the point to put something out if it's not going to be followed, so retweet and um, I asked you to like or comment on this post here which is uh, by OnCyber and for those of you that don't know, OnCyber is a very cool uh, virtual gallery uh, system for NFTs so you can upload your NFTs, so this is my OnCyber space, oncyber.io forward slash vinikaniki Boom, you can press E to get more information and there it's running super smoothly and nicely as it should. So we've got the audio there as well, so that's really cool. And if we move that, we can see the description. And um, that's pulled straight from foundation where this piece has been uploaded. So I can click there and go straight through to my foundation, which is very nice. Um, and I think it's a really just lovely way to bring the digital into the kind of semi-real, or at least experience a kind of gallery feeling to see how it might look on a virtual wall. So there's. There's a cosmic cat, um, and on this side we got the uh, star dog, which is inspired by the uh, strain of Ganja by the same name. So anyhow, so okay, so I'm rambling as I usually do. All right, so number five through these retweets I'm just gonna say a big thanks to LSD Gummy Bears you picked a piece up so I really appreciate that thank you for that so much and also thanks to Joseph because you also picked one up so check these guys out they're really talented artists and um, yeah we chat they're cool people so Joseph Zoo Art um, I'm gonna even zoom in a bit more there boom and we got LSD Gummy LSD at Gummy LSD who's making some both are making really really cool art uh, then Empire let's have a look at their profile and see what they're up to so Empire is a bit of a secret agent. It's not much uh, revealed about this person here. Oof. All right, so yeah, let's have a look at, to see if we can find an Empire of all the comments made on this particular photo. But I did just have an idea. Maybe the person commented, but like on the main post by on Cyber, which would also really count. So we're gonna revisit that in a second. And if that, oh, there we go. Empire and wow, do you know what? I really try to comment to everyone, but um, yeah, I guess I missed you, Empire. So sorry about that, Mr. Secret Agent. Um, is that too obvious if I write that? I don't know, maybe it is. I'm just gonna keep it. He's he, he or she or they or you know whoever the Zerazim whoever that is in between it perhaps. I'm gonna just leave it 
inconspicuous, super appreciated. So yeah, um, so so yeah, so great. That concludes um, the video, and I think that when if Empire does watch it back, it'll be quite a fun way for the whole thing to, to finish. So once again, I just wanted to say a big shout out to everyone who uh, supported me on the on cyber competition and just while I'm on their page I'm just gonna very quickly go to show you what they're about because yeah they're, they're making some really really cool um, virtual spaces so there's last time I checked at least there's three main skins if you like or themes for their galleries and they've recently launched this uh, collaboration feature so that's something I'm really really eager and raring to explore I'm already chatting to some artists about doing a group show, so um, stay tuned for that. That's going to be really fun. And actually, that looks like a new skin that I haven't seen before, so that's that's very that's very cool to know. And actually, I think the reason why I was glitching out on my gallery is due to the fact that I need to reload it. But there we go. Look, I'm there in with uh, Crown and Palette, Andrea. I'm in with uh, Rebecca Baffery. And uh, Rezva and Etja. And I've had a look at their profiles and they're all making really cool art. So I'm really, really happy and proud to be exhibiting online with them soon. So yeah, once again, thank you very much to everyone. And uh, this has been...